In this activity, we are going to brainstorm a couple possible characters. You'll want to find an open space where you can move your body, or if you would rather not move as an actor in this game, you can always sit at your desk and put down your head or lay down on the floor, but you do want to activate your body as much as possible. So shake out a hand, shake out another hand, shake out your shoulders and shake out your foot, your other foot, shake out your whole body. Or if you're laying down, you might want to make your hands into fists and then stretch them out a few times to just get your body activated. All right. Now I'd like for you to just start to walk and imagine that you're walking through a rainstorm. What might you do? You might cover up your head or you might splash through the mud puddles. Take a moment to explore how you might move in a rainstorm. As you're moving, let the rainstorm increase and become even more wet. So how are you going to react to the increase of moisture falling from the sky? Now I want you to transition to a snowstorm. So now it's cold and I want you to think about how does that affect your body differently? What kinds of actions might you do that are different when it's snowing? When it first starts to snow, what does your body do? And then if it starts to snow harder and even harder. And now let's imagine that wind blows in. So the wind sweeps in, how do you start to move? It's maybe a gust of wind, it's not too heavy yet. You're walking through the wind. What do you do with your hair? Do you have to hold it in place? All right. And then as the wind increases, what sorts of things might you have to do with your body? And if the wind became a gale, what might you need to do? Now choose a force of nature, maybe lightning or a tornado. You're going to personify this character. So I want you to think about how this character's feet might interact with the ground or not. You have to work within the limitations of your human body. So you're going to have to figure out how your feet do touch the ground, but you might be imagining that this character hovers in the air. I don't know. So think about their feet, think about their legs, think about their torso. Do they wear any clothes or are they entirely made out of wind or electricity? Think about their hands. Do they do anything interesting with their hands and their face? All right, now just imagine for a second how this character might move, really explore it. Might you scurry to one side and then the next side and hurry around, might you spin? If you are spinning, be careful not to get too dizzy. Now, freeze for a moment. Let's place this character in a setting. You might choose a field outside of a farm or a city or the beach. Think of the setting that you want to put them in and give them a beginning pose as they arrive in this location. Think about really what does it look like? Where specifically do they show up? And we're gonna strike a physical pose. Three, two, one, freeze. Now, in the midst of being in this place, of course they are being a force of nature, so they're doing their thing, but let's see if we can surprise them in the middle of their scene. Maybe something might happen that they're not expecting. Think about what that might look like, what their bodies might be doing, and strike a second pose. Ready? Three, two, one, freeze. Now we're going to resolve the scene. We're going to think about what else might happen here and give them a final pose. You ready? Three, two, one, well done. Now let's shake off that character and let's move to a different place in the room. We're going to think of a different force of nature because I want you to have a couple options to play with. So this time you might choose to work with a volcano or an earthquake or a tsunami. Or if you want a quieter force of nature, you might choose a summer rainstorm or a glacier. Now we're going to personify this character again. So thinking about our feet, how does this character move? How about their legs? Do they wear anything? Or is their body made out of water or made out of ice? Think about their torso, their shoulders, their hands, their face. All right, so you've got this character. Really feel what it feels like to move around your room as this character. Does this character move faster than you normally move or do they move really slow? So you've got this character, you're moving around like them and now you're picturing again a setting. Let's choose a very different setting than you did the first time. This time you might choose a forest or a high school football stadium or a street fair. Think about how this character shows up in that location. Where specifically do they show up and what does their body do? We're gonna strike a pose. Three, two, one, freeze. Now in the middle, again, let's let them be surprised. So what could happen that they're not expecting? Here you go. Three, two, one, freeze. And now how might the scene resolve? What would their body be doing? Three, two, one, freeze. Now go ahead and come back to your writing room. 
If you were inspired by one of these characters, we have an interactive writing tool which will help you further develop your character. You can find that at the link below. And before you go, don't forget to share some inspiration for your fellow writers. Maybe you want to share the force of nature you chose or something that happened in your scene, the surprise. Your ideas are sure to inspire other people, so thanks in advance for sharing. We hope that you'll come back very soon for another Writerly Play game, and in the meantime, here's to you and your creativity.